This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, buddy! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edgeware Face Attorney Investigations to Prosecutor's Path, everybody! So, uh, it's been a few weeks, so, that's since we last recorded, so it's Marty, we'll Marty doesn't start, remember we'll, anything. We'll jump back in, It'll yeah, be great. Inherited Turnabout, middle part four. Oh that, my gosh. Yep, we might be halfway through the case. That's, uh, wow. Ooh. So we're in the past. Oh, we're still in the past. Oh, Yeah, because right. Von Karma was like, I'm questioning everybody. Get out. Yeah. <laughs> December 25th. It's Christmas at 10 a.m. Detention it's Center Visitor's Christmas Room. morning. Huh? What are you doing here, Kate? Uh, Monsieur Shields and Monsieur Edgeworth. Allow me to apologize once again for all the trouble I caused you yesterday. Miss Hall looks a bit tired. Has Von Karma finished interrogating you? Yes, aside from what happened to the ice sculptures, I was not at fault for anything else. Yeah, because she melted the ice sculptures by accident. Oh, by, yeah, yeah, By, like, yeah. unplugging the fan. She was like, whoops! And, and Von Karma's like, ah! <laughs> Are you also here to meet with Master Jeff, Kate? Yes, I'm worried about how he's holding up. I need to see her up close again. Ooh! Detective Bad. Detective Bad? Why are you here? I just happened to be here. I'll be heading to the crime scene soon. I don't think this is a place that people happen to be, though. Hi. Hello. He had black hair yesterday. Um... Severe hair. Master Jeff! What happened to you? Oh no! Monsieur Master, why do you look so poor? I didn't get much sleep last night. Um... The tribulation known as questioning was rather harsh. I'm just a little exhausted. They didn't let you sleep? Even for an interrogation! That's going too far! Detective Bad! The detective in charge of the initial investigation was also in charge of the interrogation. I don't like Von Karma's methods, but this was all I could do. He was the one who brought me here. It seems I was supposed to be interrogated for a little bit longer, though. Hmm. It seems that Detective Bad is looking out for Mr. Master in his own way. What, what did Von Karma do to this guy to make his hair turn gray overnight? What actually happened was they were starting to interrogate him, and then whenever he started falling asleep, Von Karma would whip out a hair dye. And then would just start like- <laughs> Not my hair! No, my hair! You're gonna have gray roots so bad! <laughs> you will never get black hair again! <laughs> that's actually what happened. Yeah, that's not legal. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> so, shall we inform Mr. Master about what happened yesterday, Raymond? Yes, sir! I got all my memos right here. Mr. Master, we would like to inform you about yesterday's investigation. Yes. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Master Jeff, it's almost like your spirit's gone. Ah, uh, my sugar levels are low, so I might not seem like my usual energetic self. Monsieur Master. Do we have anything that can give his spirit and his glucose a boost? We have tea with us, right? We do. Let's present that first. Oh. Mr. Master? Yes. What is it? You look dizzy, Master Jeff. Ah, uh, my sugar levels are low, so I might not seem like my usual energetic self. Do we have anything that can give his spirit? Oh, that's the just- that was boring. That's because you- We got his teapot. And we got chocolates! Oh, those chocolates! Are you giving them to me? Ah, uh, those chocolates are- If possible, I would like to give them to you immediately. But it's against the rules to give anything to the suspects in the detention center. I see. Regrettably, if those are the rules, then there's nothing we can do about it. Are you sure there's no way we can give them to him? Detective Bad. Looks like he noticed what we're trying to ask of him. <laughs> I'll inspect the chocolates. 
And if there are no problems, I'll think about it. Detective Bad, thank you very much. All right, I knew we could count on you, Detective Bad. I am truly in your debt. Wait right here. We got a premium for the metal detector. Razor blades in there. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's what we thought. Take it. Thank you very much. There's just a miniature gun <laughs> in every chocolate. <laughs> How tiny would that have to be? Not a word to anyone else. It would cause problems for me later. You're fine with having <laughs> a little few problems. <laughs> yes, of course. I apologize for making you go through so much trouble. Now I shall partake in eating these delicious delights at once. I'm sorry for asking you to do something so dangerous, Detective Bad. Humph. <laughs> I only did what I wanted to do. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't you just be honest here, Detective? Oh, how sweet! It's like I've come back to life! His hair just turned Ho <laughs> ho! Did Kate make these chocolates? Yes, sir, I did. How does it taste? Oh, he's gonna sing. Melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Sweet chocolates melting in my mouth. So sweet, so divine. He was just singing about M&M's. <laughs> That's just an M&M's advertisement. Melts in your mouth, not, not in your hand. Melts in your hand, not in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you put it in the mouth, it's really hard. And just, this is the worst. That's British chocolate. It disintegrates in your hand. <laughs> and then becomes a rock in your no, mouth. No, not becomes a rock. <laughs> that's because they don't have preservatives in them, so yeah, they that's taste better. They taste better. <laughs> Thank you for the tasty treat. Oh, oh, they're a bit misshapen, but so sweet and delicious. Thank you. I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. And above all, it helped you regain your spirit. Thank so, you for your concern. Let me get this straight. There's two cases after this? Yeah. Wow. Is this the longest one? Um, case free is just stupid long. Okay. Like, I think case free might be longer than case five. Possibly. Okay, okay, okay. It, it's super long. Okay. <laughs> the food they serve here has been absolutely tasteless. And combined with the lack of sleep, I was thoroughly exhausted. Is the food here that bad? Just salt, beef, and stew. Your average prison fare. That's odd. I really could not taste anything. Ah! Whatever. I'm about to head out to the crime scene. No, what? that's important. Because didn't he, um... If, if he can't taste salt, wasn't the sorbet sculptures made out of salt? Yeah. Didn't, maybe he ate them. And didn't taste it? And... No, like, he had so much salt in his mouth that any more salt would be, like, tasteless. Oh, you think he, like, ate it and then just destroyed all his taste buds? Maybe. Or it could be, like, I know that that, ugh, I wish I, I knew, because I'm sure that, like, previous Marty would be like, oh, it's so simple, it's this thing, but because it's been a couple weeks, it's like, I Yeah. <laughs> Please wait, Detective Bad. Can you give us any new information? Yeah. I think I can. We've identified the victim. Just as you said, Isaac Dover was a sculptor who worked in France. It seems he went by the name Pierre Hoquet. Oh, I forgot about that part. Isaac Dover was Pierre Hoquet? How could that be? Monsieur Pierre Hoquet. So Pierre Hoquet wasn't actually French, huh? Which is likely why he never showed himself in public while he worked under that name. Because then they'd be, oh, you are not really French? Your stuff stinks. <laughs> Get out of here. We don't want you. <laughs> you just turned into La Roche. Oh, Spike Lord. <laughs> I am Napoleon La Roche. <laughs> <laughs> the Zodiac sculptures. They were his masterpieces, it seems. Although they will remain forever unfinished. Unfinished? Even though they were his masterpieces? It seems he worked on them by season. Once he finished the remaining winter constellations, his work would be done. Huh? The winter constellations are Taurus and Gemini, right? So those ice sculptures were his final pieces. It is heartbreaking that they melted. I cannot apologize enough. Ah, no, I wasn't blaming you or anything. 
Also, Dover was infamous for being greedy. He would charge hundreds of thousands just to make a single sculpture. I mean, if it takes months. Yeah. And they're really, really good. Also, if you screw up, like, you're it's gonna okay. have to restart. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's sherbet, so. It's okay, the Medici family always paid him money. <laughs> wow. Seemed like he always had money troubles. That's artists, though. The murder might be related to that, but it's still under investigation. So he had money problems even though he was a famous artist? Yep. No, most famous artists don't make money during their lifetime. Most, yeah, and even, like, famous actors or singers, like, depending on the season, you might have, like, you know, you might have, like, three paintings sell, and that's great, and then you might go, like, a year without painting something. Yep. Or music. Or yep. whatever you're working on as an artist. It's hard. Do you know why he entered a dessert contest? Not yet. He kept it a secret. Even from his family. What? It was, it was probably he, he wanted the rat bouquet Son. really badly. <laughs> Son, why are, why did you enter this sorbet contest? You can't know, Mom! <laughs> Mom, I want to do it to express my I individuality. Mean, even though he's like You would never an old understand. Fart. <laughs> he's 38. That's not, it doesn't, he's an old fart. His, his <laughs> he mom, looks like an old his fart. His mom still is alive. He does kind of look like a brunette <laughs> version of Lord Farquaad. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He does! Some of you may die, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> I see. He just really wanted to be known as the best baker and best amateur baker in all of Britain. <laughs> the best amateur baker in all of Britain. He just wanted to get onto the British Bake Off. Yeah, that's really what this is. It's time. I'm bringing in the replacement guard. I can't hang around here any longer than I have. Ooh, will there be a guard that we can voice? I hope so. <laughs> yes, I understand. Let's meet again later. Dun, dun, dun. I think we just leave now. Oh, no. That detective is a kind soul. Indeed. He never strays from his own beliefs. He truly has a strong will. But he's pretty scary when you first meet him. I see. Could you tell me everything that happened yesterday? Of course. Allow me to give you a report of our investigation. Oh good, we don't actually have to hear it. So, this is what happened? I'm sorry for the trouble Kate has caused you. I'm truly very sorry. You have no need to worry so long as you have told the truth, Miss Hall. Mr. Master, would you mind if I ask you a few questions as well? Yes, I shall divulge all that I know. Please tell us about the other three const contestants in the final round of your contest. The other three constitutions. Let's see. Miss Delicious' desserts had a fantastic design. However, she broke the rules, so I could not recognize her as the winner. Miss Delicious was... Delicia. Delicia? Oh. She made the castle out of fake desserts. Right, right, right. But he called her Delicious. Okay. Yeah. Up until the semifinals, Mr. Gustavia's flavors and design were to my liking. Unfortunately, both the taste and appearance of his finals entry left much to why be desired. Why is he going- why was he looking like Sonic? <laughs> what? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and there was something strange about his dessert in the semifinals. Something strange? Yet you still made him go to the finals. Both Mr. Gustavia's and Mr. Dover's desserts had the exact same taste. Blood! They had different designs, but in terms of taste, it was like eating the same thing. What did they look like? Ah, uh, there should be a picture of them in my mansion. Please allow me to show you later. Certainly, thank you very much. And then, there was Mr. Dover's sherbet sculptures. Oh, they were absolutely heavenly. Hmm? Did you have a chance to taste his creations? If I recall correctly, his body was discovered in the middle of judging. Yes, but I was not informed of this until after the judging had finished. Since he was not present in the room, I helped myself to a piece of his edible lyre. It was fantastically delicious! I was so moved I broke into sob! <laughs> Wait a moment, please. Did you say the lyre was... delicious? Could you please give us a little more detail about that? You ate the lyre from the sculpture in Mr. Dover's room, correct? Yes, the one that was in the same glass case as the Gemini sculpture. Please have a look at this picture, Mr. Master. In the same case? Did you eat from this liar that's missing the strings? 
Yes. Oh. That liar originally had strings. Oh, that's salty, though. However, I ate them all, resulting in what you see here in this picture. That's why you can't taste anything. So the strings on the liar were missing because he ate them. The Delisha said also, something. Yeah. She was like, oh, but it was so bad. I uh, couldn't eat another bite, yeah. Actually, I couldn't eat another bite. Actually, Delisha ate part of the same liar that you did. However, she said it was so salty that she could not eat it. You don't say. That means there might be a problem with my sense of taste after all. A problem with your sense of taste? How so? There's a taste disorder called hypojusia. I don't even know how that is to pronounce that, man. Hypo... Hypogasea? I don't know. Well, ah! Pull out your phone and do a... Nah, I'm doing a insert search engine name here search. Okay. How do you pronounce this? Because I want to know. Can you show me? I want to know about the strangers, strangers like, like me. me. Tell me more. Show me. I want to show our mom that, by the way. Our mom still hasn't oh, seen Tarzan. Oh, I don't think she would like that. But it's a good movie. It is a good movie, but she'll be bawling in the first five minutes. Okay, I told I told her the first five minutes are sad. Also, the ending's kind of gruesome. But it's a good movie. I, I don't. I don't want to. Beyond the trees, above okay. oh. the clouds. Pronounce. Hypogusia. Hypogusia. Like goose. Hawk. Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> There's a taste disorder called hypogusia, in which you lose the ability to taste salt. Perhaps I have contracted this illness. I just never realized it since I eat nothing but sweets. And you're that ripped? How? He just works out nonstop. There are people who eat utter garbage, but if you work out all the time, like, <laughs> you look okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but sweets is his job, right? Yeah. That might be part of it. However, I now know with certainty. So that's why he couldn't tell what the food they serve here tasted like. No! For a pastry chef to lose that taste, their sense of taste is fatal! Even if there is treatment for taste impairment, there isn't a cure for it yet. But it's probably best that you let the police know so you can re receive a medical examination. No, that won't be necessary. There is a recipe in my mansion specifically for making the cure. What? A recipe for a drug that will cure your taste impairment? How do you have this? Yes, please look for it later when you return to the mansion. Monsieur Master, but, but that means revealing the- Kate, we should no longer conceal it from Mr. Gregory. Yes, sir. I understand. If that is what you wish. A uh, recipe for a special drug? Just what are they hiding? Are well, they hiding well, chemical X? Well, we kind of work for the cartels. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be the same drug that Delisha Spe specializes in? Uh, maybe. Well then, I must be returning to the mansion now, so I will take my leave. Yes, we will be heading there later as well. Kate? Or Kate? What is it, Monsieur Master? You should not live for my sake. You should reconsider your lifestyle so that you can live by yourself, even if I were no longer around. Is this going to be another one where it's like, we go to court and he, they lose the case because he commits suicide? We'll have to wait and see. B please, don't say things like that. I simply cannot live without you, Monsieur Master. I promise to wait for you until you return. Excuse me! Ah! Kate! Catherine. Wasn't he the one- didn't he like take her in yeah, when he's she was an orphan? Like yeah. kind of like a dad? He's basically her dad. Yeah. Master Jeff, Kate was crying. Why did you say something so cruel? That wasn't cruel. I'm worried about her. Catherine always puts me before herself. There are people like that, yeah. What do you mean? She collects pure Hokei's works and makes sweets. All to make me happy. Nothing more. That is the only reason she does anything. There are girls like that, yeah. She always puts aside her own preferences and things that she wants to do herself. I want Catherine to choose to live her own life. I do not want her to waste her valuable life because of me. Is that so?
He thinks of Miss Hall as his own daughter. And he would want his children to choose their own path in life. And a parent would do anything to protect their own chi children. That feeling, I also know it well. Well, that should do it for the questions. We must return to the scene of the crime. Ah, it is already time to leave, I see. So will my tribulations of questioning resume? We should take measures against their interrogations from our side as well. Can you ask the police about that? I can, but I have other ways in mind as well. When the time comes... Ho oh, ho, you are a dependable man. I shall be counting on you. Master Jeff, we'll come here every day with reports of our progress. And we'll bring Kate too. Yes, thank you very much. I shall be looking forward to it. Mr. Master, now that the police will be attempting to get you to confess, or know that <laughs> I am sorry to ask an innocent soul like yourself to bear with these painful experiences. But please hold on for now. If you confess, I am positive that Von Karma will use that to his advantage. And that will make helping you all that much more difficult. I understand. I shall do my best. If you believe in me until the bitter end, I will definitely get you out of here. And we all know that how that'll end. Oh, it's a guard! <laughs> oh, I thought they were all choking. <laughs> no, so I thought I thought Detective Bab was choking, and I thought I didn't realize those were flowers. I thought the guard was puking into the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's eleven oh three a.m. on Christmas in the fountain patio. Found yeah. Oh right, there was someone murdered in the the water. In the present, yeah. <laughs> Detective Bad, thank you for helping I us earlier. About that. Yes, thank you. <laughs> he did the same thing. <laughs> hmm. Thanks for what? <laughs> There's no need to be shy about it. <laughs> Enough about that. I suppose you intend to investigate today too. Of course. We still need more information to prove Mr. Master's innocence. I'm sorry. But apart from this patio, you're not allowed to investigate anywhere else. What? So you're saying we can't investigate? I'm guessing this is Von Karma's doing. Yeah. Von Karma's a bit on edge at the moment. He still hasn't received the autopsy report. Moreover, the only ones in this mansion are Miss Hall and the police. So don't get your hopes up on speaking with the people connected to this case. Von Karma's being completely unreasonable. He's gone too far. Detective Bad, what do you intend to do? I promised I'll do anything I can to assist you. You have my thanks. We won't let any of Von Karma's dirty tricks get the best of us. Detective Bad, is it alright if we investigate the fountain patio? Yes. But we've already finished checking everything. Except for the fountain. That's fine. As long as there is still something, I shall continue investigating. Begin investigation! Talk oh, man. to the guard! Alright, I'll let you voice the guard. What are you investigating exactly? Oh, it's forensics, actually. Oh, d should it be the... The normal forensics guy then, or? Um, oh, I did the really, really deep forensics. Like, sir, I'm investigating the water in the patio for foreign matter, sir. No, <laughs> that one. I can't. Sir, I'm investigating you can, the water. You can do it. You can do a voice, any a voice. voice. It could be a different forensic okay. person. Sir, I'm testing the water in the fountain for foreign matter, sir. <laughs> I don't know why this turned into. I don't know why I turned into Yoda. Have you found anything? It seems there's both chocolate and sherbet mixed in with the fountain water! It matches the chocolate from Jeff Master's room! What's the chocolate? The chocolate! Chocolate! And the sherbet that melted in Isaac Dover's room! They all share the same composition! The fountain water circulates through the streams that flow from each of the four rooms. Perhaps the melted sherbet flowed into the fountain. Also, someone's blood was detected as well! What are you saying? How could there have been blood in the fountain? 
there's a fountain filled with blood. <laughs> yeah. Detective Bad, please think back up to our investigation of the crime scene. Detective Bad, please look at the crime scene carefully once more. The blood stain that should have remained at the crime scene has disappeared. Oh wait, I bet you the fountain's gonna be super important. Yeah. For the for this and the case in the in the present. <laughs> Alba just turned on the fountain spout <laughs> like he did in the other case. <laughs> no, literally what's probably gonna happen is like how deep's the fountain? Probably someone got murdered in the other room, they dumped them in the fountain bed, and then just pushed them under the door. Oh, that's what you think? Or, they could use the fountain to swim under the door, into the rooms, that are locked. <laughs> it's not that big. I'll say that, it's not okay. that big. I definitely didn't get any reports about the blood stain being cleaned up. The blood disappeared from the crime scene. Also, part of the treasure chest was missing too. Perhaps, the blood in the fountain belongs to this person. Gee, I wonder. Oh, man. Hmm. The victim? It belongs to me, <laughs> Hey, baby. <laughs> Let's run a comparison with the blood on the murder weapon. <laughs> Manny Coach has the grossest profile picture. <laughs> and now Bruno Cadaverini still had a grosser one. Bruno was... He was like the super, like, ancient mafia boss guy. Like, the... Who is Violetta's oh. grandfather. Oh, I... Nah, nah. Manny Cochin sticks out He's, more. Manny Cochin used meth. For sure. <laughs> it's a match. The blood in the fountain is Dover's. I wonder why the criminal spilled the victim's blood into the fountain. Victim's blood added to the court record. Thank you, forensics. Your weird forensics. <laughs> the owner of the works in each room are written on this notice board. From the left, Mr. Master, Mr. Gustavia, Miss Delicia, and Mr. Dover. Incidentally, it would seem the board is also made of candy. Do they plan to eat all of this stuff when the contest is over? It seems these musical instruments were used in piece of cake. Of course, these probably aren't made of candy. <laughs> I licked them. I can detest they're not candy. <laughs> Detective Bad looks somewhat disappointed. <laughs> What? What do you think about the case, Detective Bad? The police's opinion is the same as Von Karma's. But I don't buy that. The investigation of this patio is also lacking as well. I have already talked to the laddies. You can ask them anything you want. I appreciate that. Thank you, Detective Bad. <laughs> They're the ones with the weird voices, right? It's them. <laughs> <laughs> they always have weird voices. I'm not really doing it for you. I just want an investigation I can approve of. Alright. It's worth investigations too. Raymond, could we talk for a bit? Sure thing, Mr. Edgeworth. Fire away. Raymond, have you noticed anything about the case? A lot, actually. Mr. Dover's body was found in Mr. Master's room. And we found the murder weapon that rock saw with lamp in Mr. Delicious at Candy Castle. <sighs> Mr. Delicious's desserts aren't so dreamy anymore, huh? Yes, you're right. And Kate looks sad, too. I asked you to note, not to dote. Huh? Did I do something wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a little worried about your future. <laughs> He's fine. He's just crushing on her. What's wrong? <laughs> Isn't he like 18? They're like the same age. They're like the same age, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this case was your first investigation, huh, Raymond? Honestly! <laughs> yes, and I've been taking memos on everything that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been trying to sketch a Miss Kate. Do you think she'll like it? <laughs> Here's the thing, I'm like, go, go, Ray. Because, like, he's, he's a cool dude, and he's making the money, and he'll get the girls. He'll get the girls. <laughs> he'll get the girls. He's a sweet guy. <laughs> It's truly an inspiration to be investigating with you, Mr. Edgeworth. You aiming to be an attorney? Yeah, defense attorneys are heroes of justice who help those in need. The moment I saw how amazing Mr. Edgeworth was in court, I decided to be his apprentice. But, detectives also defend people. Yeah, but I already had my heart set on becoming a defense attorney. <laughs> Is that so? 
well. Good luck then. Maybe one of the next cases will be like, this is how we met Ray. <laughs> it's just a <laughs> it's just a repeat of no. It's just a repeat of the like this is let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> let's go back in time! <laughs> oh my god. Perhaps Detective Bad wants an apprentice I too. I haven't seen Arthur in forever. I know. Arthur like is so good. Arthur, Arthur is so good. Raymond, you're blocking I the way really, of the saxophone. <laughs> I really want to push the forensics guy into the pond. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> oh, these are the same things. Oh, I wonder if um the oh, man, angels. Look at all these. I wonder if the angels were pierced to the body in the, front, in the present. Also, there are a bunch of guards. You talk to that one. Let's get to the way. We authorized personnel on this point. <laughs> Aren't I authorized? He personnel? looks like he's wearing the Santa hat. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, authorized personnel are prohibited too. I guess that means no one can enter. Are these Von Karma's orders? I can't stand that guy. It's a figure of Santa Claus. I suppose it's also made of candy. Behind that door is Master's room. This Santa is probably another one of his works. Santa, huh? I wonder what I should get my son for Christmas this year. It's Christmas now! Like, literally, it's... Get him the Turbo Man, dog. Oh, gone. Oh, gone. I think he said he wanted an attorney's badge. I wonder if I could ask Mr. Master to make him one out of candy. That'd be cute. Oh, that's so nice. And then he... Uh, you can do this card. Investigation's underway. Only authorized personnel be on this point. Aren't I authorized personnel? Sorry. <laughs> Those are Von Karma's orders. I can't stand him. We'll just get to say Would that four times, but with, <laughs> but with totally different voices. Sure. This leads to Gustavio's room. There's a reindeer by the door. According to the nameplate, it's made entirely of candy. Such splendid antlers. Very manly. But a male reindeer's antlers fall, fall off during the winter. So this must be a female. You lawyers always giving out useless information. <laughs> what does that have to do with being a lawyer? <laughs> what an amazing trophy. It's probably Master's world's greatest pastry chef, huh? It's also made out of candy. It doesn't seem like it would last long. Honor and glory don't last long. Ooh. I think that's the lesson here. I don't think it's quite as deep as that. These angel statues look like they're eating chocolate fondue. It would seem these angel statues are also Pierre Hoquet's works. As expected, they're very well made. Looks just like the real thing. So you've seen a real angel before, Detective Bad? <laughs> real angels nice. don't actually look like what people think they do. Yeah. Read Revelation. <laughs> Defense attorneys. Always the first to find fault with everything. Hmm. Perhaps that was wrong of me. Where does this elevator go? To the second floor. Master and Hall's quarters. Apparently, on their days off, Master makes candy and holds tea parties upstairs. But if it's a nice day, they probably have it in the gardens or something. That sounds nice. I'd like an invite when the case is over. I'll bring my son. Would you like to come too, Detective Bath? You're wasting your breath. I don't fraternize with attorneys. You don't fraternize with people. Many of the trophies Master has received are placed here. Besides dessert contests, there are also awards for his charity work. An evident display of both his skill and character. Hmm, this trophy is... To recognize the TV program Piece of Cake for giving children hopes and dreams. Hopes and dreams. Now I want to see it too. This leads to Delicia's room. This snowman here is rather eye-catching. It's made from powdered sugar. Oh, powdered sugar, huh? He's staring at it quite intently. I hope he's not thinking of sneaking a taste. You just instantly fall <laughs> it's not, apart. Uh, sorry. I can. Oh, he can't really do the chicken dance. That's a no. Shame. Only Edgeworth has a really good chicken dance. Lift that flap. Oh, lift that flap. Uh, do you have a good voice? Because I still have to think of oh, another one. The investigation's underway. Only authorized personnel be on this point. Aren't I authorized personnel? Sorry. Authorized personnel are prohibited too. 
I guess that means no one can enter. <laughs> Are these his orders? I hate him. <laughs> it's a Christmas tree made out of table sugar. Thanks to these decorations, this place is on red alert. If even a single ant made it inside, it would be terrible. Indeed. If ants got in here, it would be disastrous. Oh boy. The investigation's underway! Only unauthorized personnel be on this point. <laughs> Aren't I authorized personnel? Sorry, uh, authorized personnel are permitted to! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone hates that guard. <laughs> he, always, he always blows out his voice. <laughs>